Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Natasha and today we are going to cook uh, cottage cheese pancakes. Uh, this is a very healthy option of any other pancakes because it contains cottage cheese which is soft and creamy and as well it's a very useful for a healthy diet. It's rich in calcium and protein and as well it's low fat. So for this we are going to need a few ingredients. Uh, let's get to the ingredients and let's start the process. Here we go. Okay, so for this recipe we are going to need the following. 400 grams of cottage cheese. We are going to need 100 grams of flour. I used just regular flour. We will need another 5 grams of flour just to um, um, for the cottage cheese later on. We will need about let's say 15 grams of coconut oil. You can use regular oil, it's up to you if you don't have the coconut oil. We will need about three to four grams of salt and we will need two eggs. So this is basically the ingredients that we are going to need. This recipe is going to take us not more than 30 minutes and let's get started. So first thing first, we are going to put the eggs in our cottage cheese. We're going to put here the salt as well. So, um, <clears throat> one of the reasons why I'm using this recipe is because cottage cheese, it's a very important element of my diet since I was a kid. Uh, you can find cottage cheese in the supermarkets, but, but just make sure yeah, I'll just do like that. So you can find the cottage cheese in the supermarkets, uh, but just make sure that you don't have the cottage cheese which is soft with a lot of liquid. You are looking for a very dry consistency. Uh, here in UK, we have a lot of Polish shops. Yes, yeah, so we, I'm buying it from the Polish shop, which is very handy for me. In your case, you can maybe find somewhere as well, any Polish shop or Eastern European shops as well yeah so we are mixing together the cottage cheese with the eggs and salt if you are a gluten-free person or you have a gluten-free diet you can use buckwheat flour i tried them once with buckwheat flour and they were very very nice yeah so we put our 100 grams of flour and we are mixing it together just like that. Very important when you are making this recipe because basically the flour has to develop the gluten. You need to make sure that you are mixing it very very well together. Basically the flour in this recipe gives you the, um, the opportunity to hold together the cottage cheese because if you are going to, um, to put the cottage cheese without any flour in the pan, you are going to end up with a paste all over your pan and you don't want that. Just like that, it takes about two to three minutes to mix everything together. Yeah, so this is the consistency that you are looking for. You are looking for a very thick paste going to start our pancakes I'm going to put just a bit of coconut oil on my hands yeah I use coconut oil because this is a healthier version in your case you can use any other oil as I said if you prefer or you don't have the coconut oil yeah we need a cutting board just here we're putting just a bit of flour on top we are going to make them first into round shapes. Yeah, just like that, I put on my hands. I'm, I'm using my bare hands, of course, 
properly washed before, make sure that you wash your hands or you do them with the gloves. Okay, we are going about, we are going to take about a tablespoon of our, just like that actually. Yeah. Form into a ball, just like this, the circular moves. You see? So we have this a kind of not perfect shaped round pancake. And what we are doing, we just slightly press it and form it like a round, thick, about one centimeter and a half pancake. Okay, we are putting on our board and we are starting the next one. Just for you to know how much is the book, I will check now how much is approximately how many grams you need in one pancake. You don't want to put too much, this is very important. You don't want to put too much because otherwise they're not going to get fried through. So one pancake it's about 70 grams, 60-70 grams. But I would say just take a tablespoon Put it in your hands and just do it like this. Regularly putting a bit of oil on your hands because otherwise it's going to stick. Okay. Now the cottage cheese is very popular um, amongst health diets because it's very low in calories. So for 400 grams of cottage cheese, we have about 150 calories. You can eat it without anything or you can add some cottage cheese, sorry, um, sour cream. Basically, sour cream as well. It has healthy bacteria that helps digestion as well. After we did our first pancakes, what we are going to need, we are going to need one pan. We are going to need the coconut oil or any other oil as I told you. On a low heat, low medium heat, you don't want to have your heat too much. And I'll tell you why. Because having too much heat, will burn your pancakes and they'll not be done in the middle. This is very important step. So I put there literally like three, four grams of our coconut oil and I still have a bit for the next round. So from 400 grams for this recipe, particularly, we are going to have about eight pancakes and it's enough for two people for a very nice breakfast. You can serve them, as I told you, with sour cream or with jam or with peanut butter, whatever it's easier for you. I'm going to put them on our pan. Make sure that it's with oil. Yeah. And place them on the pan. Don't put too many in the pan, better less than more, because you want to fry them through properly and you need space after that to turn them around. So we are frying them, as I told you, on low to medium heat, about four to five minutes on each side. If you can see that it's burning a bit, just make sure that you have a bit less heat for your pan. Another alternative, if you're looking for uh, a healthier version of you don't want to fry so much, you can put them in the oven, but in the oven they are not going to be so crusty and so colorful. So now, after about 
three to four minutes for the first batch. We are going to turn them around and this is what we are looking for. You don't want them more burnt or less. If it's less, make sure that you leave them a bit. I decreased our, uh, my heat because it was too much, so I don't want to burn them. Yeah. Turn them around and leave them for about five minutes as well. For example, in this case, I would say that it's not enough, but I'm just going to turn it around. When you're frying your pancakes, make sure that about three to four minutes when you are flipping them around first time, you yeah, make sure you are checking if they are okay. Yes, yeah, so as you can see here, it's a bit burned. So we are just going to, to turn them on the other side. Yeah, this is still. So sometimes as you can see here, this one is not so fried, this is one more fried. So make sure that you are adjusting your pan because you don't want to burn them on some sizes. Okay, so our first batch of pancakes are ready. So I fried them about 4 minutes from the first side. I flipped them around about 5 minutes and after 2 minutes again I flipped them one more time. So these are the pancakes, this is how they are. So. They are very cute shaped, yeah, round. So because of the egg, if you can see there, we started with about one centimeter and a half, and now it's about two centimeters and a half. Because of the eggs, the pancakes are going to fluffy up. Yeah, we are adding now in our pan a bit more coconut oil. You don't want too much neither. And we are going to put our second batch of pancakes. So let's flip the second batch the other make sure that you have a flat spatula it makes it easier to flip them okay so our cottage cheese uh, pancakes are ready and finally we are ready to eat so what I'm going to do I'm going to place four cottage cheese pancakes on a plate. Just a little bit about the setup for the table, yeah, because it's a very nice breakfast. I was thinking that it would be a great idea to do a very nice setup as well. So this is a basic thing to make things more extraordinary. So this, I'm going to tell you, this is our favorite plates, yeah, they are matte and they are very, very useful durable and we are using them for everything and the food in them looks amazing and if you want pictures for yourself or even for Instagram for social media any food will look nice in it yeah so we are going to take four pancakes just like that place them across the our plate just look at this, how nice it looks, yeah? We have as well our favorite cutlery and we combine basically a black plate with a black cutlery. We're having as well our favorite cups and there we have a white uh, plate, which is amazing. So as you can see, this plate is very durable, as I told you, we are having hot food. We're having them for two years and they are doing the great their job. So here as well, we have the white, plate with white cutlery. Yeah. Again, we are crossing them just like that. So this is our breakfast. It's just under 40 minutes, which is perfect. It's a healthy, creamy, soft breakfast with your favorite drink, tea or coffee. 
If you have any questions regarding this recipe, don't forget to write them in the comments below and as well don't forget to subscribe that hit button. I hope you enjoy it.